Researchers at the Fred Russ Forest Experiment Station are using a tree mapping hardware software combo. It's a system designed to map the location of trees, measure size, and record data in the field computer. One device used is a laser rangefinder. Point this at an object and press the button and it'll tell me from this point I'm at how far away is the tree that I shot it at. So a laser shoots out from here, it bounces off and then it, a receiver here and based on knowledge of the, of the um, wavelength and the frequency of the light wave that's shooting out of here and the time it comes back we can know how far away you are. So this is called the laser range finder. It tells me distance. This is an electronic compass here and this tells me the, direct, the direction I'm in. So uh, it'll tell me I'm 180 degrees or 90 degrees, how far away. So then I can know from this particular point the angle and the distance to a tree. Okay, and so with that, if I know what location I'm at and I know the angle and distance to a tree, and I know the angle and distance of all the trees, I can actually plot all of those trees, the actual coordinates of those trees. McFarland also uses a global positioning system, or GPS. There are satellites orbiting the Earth, and if I have at least three satellites, signals from them, I can actually uh, know my location on the Earth's surface. So I can use this to actually make what's a local coordinate system for the trees into a global coordinate system. And then I can, I can know within, with the quality of this antenna, within say plus or minus, say three to five meters, exactly where that tree is on the surface of the planet Earth. This research project is important in understanding the structure and patterns in the forest. Data helps determine why certain trees are growing in the position they're in and how trees compete with each other. One thing we do in forestry research is to figure out how close should we plant trees so we can maximize the number of trees but not have them competing with one another. So we want to maximize survival and growth and vigor of the trees but also at the same time get as many trees as possible in a particular location.